Hello students, so in this video I will discuss about how to draw the development of a rectangular prism. So uh, the size is 30 by 40, the base size and height is 70. So I will be drawing the top view first. So I can take this 30 mm base edge. So a little bit down I can take 30 mm. So suitable is you can draw this 30 by 40 rectangle. So in the top view it will be a rectangle 30 by 40. Yes, it is 30 by 40 rectangle. So in the top view it is a rectangle. So this is the top view, you can name it as upper edges, it will be having two bases, upper base is 1, 2, 3, 4, I am naming it and this uh, in uh, lower is A, B, C, D, you can name it as A, B, C, D. Now you can draw this vertical projector through 1, 2 and 3, 4. And the height is 70. So I'll be measuring 70 now. Now you can draw a 70 mm long line through this vertical projector through 1, 2. So it is 70 here. And 70 from the other side as well. It is 70 here. Now you can join this top of this prism, rectangular prism. You can make this uh, thick as well, the base edge. Now this is the front view. Now you can name it as it is uh, 1 dash, 2 dash. And it is 4 dash, 3 dash. Similarly, it is A dash, B dash, the bottom edge, the base edge, and D dash, C dash. Now you can find out the center of this by just by joining this uh, diagonals. So it will be the center. Yes. Now you can draw this axis line through this. So you can join the uh, this draw this chain line the axis line through the center now. So this will be the axis of this prism, rectangular prism. Now you can locate this cutting plane is uh, bisecting the axis. So I am taking 10, 20, 30, 35 because it is height is 70. So this is 35. You can draw a horizontal through this point horizontal line and the cutting plane is 45 degree inclined to this uh, base edge uh, HP so I am drawing a chain line thick at the edges it at 45 degree passing through this one making it thick at the edges as well Yes, you can make it thick at the edges. Now you can name it as P dash and Q dash. These two points. P dash is cutting 1, 2, uh, 1A, 2B and Q dash is 3, 4 and 3C and 4D. Now again I will be using parallel line method to develop this prism. So I will be drawing a horizontal line through this top of this height and you can draw a parallel line to this edge 4D. Yes. And then you can draw the horizontal line through Q and P dash. Okay. Throughout you can draw. Yes. 
now you can name it as it is 4 1 d 1 now you can simply take it from uh, this 4 1 here in the top view and then you can mark it here and then you can take 1 2 from here and you can mark it here so alternately you have to do this because it is a rectangular prism so I am doing alternately you can mark it again I have to measure this yes now you can draw this vertical through this all all the arcs four arcs so the height will remain uh, 70 mm so it will be yes rectangular so but the rectangle size will be different sometimes uh, it will be 30 and then 40 and 30 and 40 alternately yes now you can name it as this is 1 1 1 a 1 and then this is 2 1 b 1 and then 3 1 c 1 and then again 4 1 d 1 Now you check uh, here, for, uh, Q lies on 3 and 4, so it will be here on 4 D and 3 C and again on 4 D and P is lying on 1 A and 2 B. You can check it from the front view 1 A and 2 B. So these are the points, now I will be joining these points. Now you can join these points Q1 with P1 with straight line. and then P1 with P2 you can make it thick and then P2 with Q2 and then Q2 with Q1 Now you can make this outside edges as thick as well and you can make this outside edges of this prism, truncated prism thick as well. Yes. So base as well you can make it thick. Yes. Now this is complete I will be doing the dimensioning only. I will be doing the dimensioning. So I have done the dimensioning as well. You can check, you can add this X and Y as well. Here. Okay. Now this is complete. Uh, you can see the development of this rectangular prism. I hope you got it. Thank you very much.